Hey guys, today we're going to go over the last page of our word list book. Let's review very quickly. We've got the black page, which symbolizes the sin in our hearts before Jesus comes in. The red page is for the blood that he shed on the cross. The white page is when he comes in to live in our hearts. His blood washes us and makes us white as snow. The green page is what happens to us when Jesus does come in. We get his Holy Spirit and we are a new creation, the Bible says. And then blue is for baptism. That is the first step of obedience after we ask Jesus to come live in our hearts. Our last page is the yellow page, and this really represents heaven. Jesus is up in heaven now with God, and he is preparing a place for us. If you ask Jesus to come live in your heart, you will have the opportunity when you leave this life, when you pass away, when you die, to spend forever with him. And I have a Bible verse in the book of John that talks about this. It's in the book of John, chapter 14, verses 2 through 3. It says, In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. So that verse talks about how in heaven, God is preparing a place for us to live with him for those of us who have asked Jesus to come live in our hearts. Now, yesterday we talked about praying a very simple prayer, asking Jesus to forgive our sins and to come in. And if you have questions about that, remember, ask your mom and dad or ask them if you can Email Mrs. Kaylor or email me, Mrs. Armstrong, and ask your questions. If you go to church somewhere, you might talk to your Sunday school teacher or your pastor. But if you have questions, I want you to try to find the answers. The decision to follow Jesus is the most important decision that you will make in your entire life. And this little book that I've made is something very simple that you can make and share with your friends also. And that will absolutely please the Lord's heart. If you have prayed that prayer and asked him to come live in your heart, some things that you can do to grow in your faith and grow closer to God is read God's word, listen to worship music, go to church, be with friends who love Jesus also. And always remember, we are here praying for you when you pray to God. We've talked about prayer. That also helps you stay close to him. But if you have any questions, please reach out to mom and dad or have them reach out to us.